In this demonstration video, I'm going to show you how to edit a picture on an online program called Pixlr. And uh, you'll, you can follow along on this handout that I've made, or you could uh, maybe just listen to this and do it as I speak out what you need to do. Okay, we are going to be editing our photos with um, the posterization in the posterization style. Okay, if you look at the bottom of this handout, there's a picture of Brad Pitt before posterization, and then there's a picture of a picture of him after posterization. Um, posterization is just a style that breaks down all the values in a picture, and you can it'll make it look like the different values into shapes. So if there's like a highlight on your nose in a picture, it, that'll probably be like the lightest color while your hair, if you have dark hair, might be the darkest value. And then you'll see that as, a, actual, as an actual shape. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to Google. And if you don't have Google Chrome pulled up already, you might as well pull it up. And then what you'll do is you will search on Google Images a person, okay? And your person could be a famous person, could be a character from a TV show, as long as this person is not a cartoon character, okay? Um, you could even do Barney if you wanted to, like the, the uh, mascot or like a mascot from a basketball team or whatever, okay? It doesn't matter. So my person is Brad Pitt. And when I look at my first uh, search, there are pictures of him with his face. There's pictures of him with his whole body. There's pictures of him with his face and his torso. Some of these pictures will work really well, but some of them will not, okay? Um, what I would suggest that you do is after you type in that person's name, you could type in the word headshot, okay? So I'm going to do that with Brad Pitt. This will basically narrow down your picture to just his, this person's face, okay? So now I have lots of pictures of Brad Pitt and just his face, okay? So you just want to search for a picture that looks like pretty good quality and it's not a small image. So when I look at this, that, this picture right here is a little um, too small, I think, but the next one is much better. Okay, so this one is, is just his face, and it looks like it's a pretty, pretty good quality image. Okay, after you pick your picture, you're going to tap on the um, mouse pad with two fingers, and a drop-down little menu will show up. Okay, and then you'll, you'll want to click Save Image As after you do that, okay? Um, your file screen will show up, and sometimes it'll, it'll show up in your downloads. So that, that's what will be, like, highlighted on the left. I would suggest you click My Files and save your images in your files, okay? Um, you could change the name of this if you wanted to. You could put your last name. You could put the character or a famous person's name doesn't really matter. So I'm going to put, change this to Brad Pitt. Okay, and then I'll click the save box in the right hand corner. Okay, after you have your image saved, you'll want to click another tab on Chrome. And you'll want to type in the search bar Pixlr, and it's spelled like this, P-I-X-L-R dot com. P-I-X-L-R dot com. And hopefully this is what shows up for you. Um, the image might be different, but you should have the same options that show up. So what you'll do after you've... Uh, got onto Pixlers, you want to click on this sort of blue colored uh, bubble or box 
that says try photo editor Pixlr X. Okay, so that's the one you want to click. So Pixlr X. Okay, after their screen has changed to Pixlr X, you want to click on the option on the left hand side that says open image. Okay, and your files will show up again. Okay, you'll want to click on the image that you saved. We'll see if mine opens. It looks kind of funky. Okay, if you just save this in your downloads, you want to click on my downloads. But I'm mine is saved in my files, so I'm going to click this one. Okay, and then your picture will show up on your screen. Okay. On the left hand side of your screen, you have all these different icons, which are actually links to different menus. So there's one to just move the picture around, there's one to crop. So if you have a picture with lots of like things in the background, you can crop the image if you want. Um, there's a lot of these and I'm not going to go over all of these. Okay. If you do this and you like this editor, I would definitely go back and just play around with it and figure out how to do things. Okay, the one that you we we want to select is called adjust, and it's the option that looks kind of like a sun with like a half moon shape in it. Now on this uh, menu, you want to click uh, or switch on the option black and white. This is just going to change our image into black and white. Um, if your image is already black and white, the one that you picked is black and white already, you don't have to do this step. But if yours isn't, if it's color like mine, you want to switch black, switch it, switch to black and white. Okay, this will just make it easier um, to see the different values because sometimes colors make it kind of confusing to figure out what's light and what's dark. Okay, and then we're going to click on one other thing to change our image. We're going to click on another icon and it's labeled as filter. Filter is the icon that has seven dots in it. There are none, no, no other icons that have dots in it. So you want to click on filter. There are lots of different options that you could do with filter, but we're only really concerned about one. Again, if you like using this, you could go and um, just play around with this uh, program later on. So under like the subtitle scene, you're going to find the option posterize. Okay, that's what we want. This is going to change and separate our values. Okay, across from posterize, there's the number zero. This is just the number of values that we want to um, change our image into. So you want to click on that with your mouse pad, and you could type in, well, you want to type in the number four. This will automatically change your image into four different values. Just so you can see, um, just so you can see, I'll type in a different number, but you only want to do number four. Okay, so let's see what it looks like with six different values. As the number goes up, as more values are added on in posterization, the more uh, detailed your picture will get. So if I do eight, it looks even more detailed. Ten, a lot more detailed. So if I wanted to do less than six, four, maybe I wanted to do two, you're not going to get a ton of different values. Okay, so I think the number that we're going to stick to and um, the one that you want to use is the number four. If your image does not have a lot of light areas, please let me know and we can mess with it together. Um, like mine, I don't have a lot of light highlights. The only ones are probably in his uh, eyes. So I might see what it looks like with five. I think five looks better, so I'm going to keep that. But you want to put in four. And if it looks weird, let me know. 
So, and then we're going to just click the black space background for it to set. So now we have our image posterized. After you have done that, what you'll want to do is you want to go down to the bottom right hand corner and click save. So if you renamed your picture, you would just want to name it something else. So I'm going to write it as Brad Pitt underscore edited. Okay, and you want the file type to be a JPEG. Um, do not click ping. You don't want to mess with anything right here. Okay, and then after um, that, you can basically just click the option download. And this picture, if you go to your files, and I have mine on another screen, this will show up in your downloads. So here is my edited picture of Brad Pitt. And that is in my downloads. Okay, and after you have your picture posterized and ready to be printed, you just want to maybe go to Google Docs. And i got to pull this up. Make a new one. And then you just want to put your picture in here. So I'm clicking on insert, image, upload from computer. Remember your edited picture is in your downloads. It should be the first thing. And you're going to click your edited picture. And then in the right hand corner, click open. And then your image should be on your paper now. You could title your doc your document. I'm going to title this as Miss Valentine's Example. And you can either email me this Word doc. Um, I might also have a um, assignment on Google Classroom for you to put this in. And then I can print this out for you for your uh, collage or your drawing or whatever we're doing. So this is how, in this video, this is how you edit a picture on Pixlr, like very simple settings, and how you um, posterize it. Good luck posterizing your own pictures.